Hello and thank you for your interest in DeliverPoint. DeliverPoint is a SharePoint permissions reporting and management tool for the site owner, the site collection administrator, as well as SharePoint administrator and tenant administrator. If you're a site owner or a site collection administrator and you want to be able to manage permissions and report on permissions within inside your site or list or library, you can do that using DeliverPoint and here's how. So first of all, when you're within the site and you have full control to that site, you'll be able to click into the top right hand corner to easily access some of the more common DeliverPoint reports, such as the Discover Permissions report. The Discover Permissions report defaults to showing you who's got permissions to this particular site and it displays a list of users, their permission level and also how they gained their permissions as well. And the permissions are shown even if they're listed as an Active Directory security group member or even a Microsoft 365 group member or just literally given direct permissions via a SharePoint group or against the account itself. So each of these different columns can be filtered. So if we were to filter based on the permission level, notice that I could return everybody that has edit permissions or design permissions and so on in order to be able to narrow down my search to those users that I'm particularly interested in. And in here we can see a list of users that have edit permissions to this particular site. We can see then over on the right hand side how that permission came about. And you'll even see duplications such as demo user 5 here has been given the same permission of edit in two different ways. One, because that user is a member of the sales security group, which is nested inside of the members SharePoint group, and also because their user account is a member directly of that members group. So if we want to make changes from here, we can also do that as well. We can simply select the row that we want to make changes to, and from the actions menu, we can go through and copy the permissions to somebody else that's joining our team, or we could transfer permissions away from this user to somebody replacing that account, or even just straightforward delete permissions, grant permissions, or revoke a particular permission level. So that's how we can go through and, and view these permissions, and notice that we've also got the avatar as well. So if we were interested in a particular person, perhaps we didn't recognize them, we wanted to check who they were in order to verify that they should have permissions, we can send that user an email, start a chat, or even see some of their activity using the people card. So this report was executed on the site. What we're going to do now is jump into a document library. And one of the challenges with a document library in the modern experience of SharePoint is the fact that you can only really report on one object at a time. So notice here the default manage access option. If I was to select two rows, two folders or two documents or two list items, those options disappear, but you still have deliver point at the bottom of that menu. So with that in mind, we can go through and discover the permissions on two or more folders and again see who's got permissions to that particular content. The other benefit that you have using DeliverPoint is with sharing links. So inside a document library it's possible that somebody with edit permissions or above may have gone through and shared a link with either an external user or created a link for anybody or even with specific people inside your organization. And again, it can be quite challenging to go through one object at a time in order to be able to see where those sharing links have been created. So with DeliverPoint, we can basically go through the option in the top right hand corner again and use the sharing links report to see not just with inside one document library, but across multiple document libraries and dive deep into the folder structure in order to be able to see everybody that has a sharing link enabled. So in here, we've got the different documents and folders. We can see when they were shared and who they were shared by, the sharing type, whether it's specific people or anybody with the link or people in the organization. And we can go through and see who those people are. And this is, if this is something that we want to remove, we can do that easily just simply by selecting each one or by selecting all. And we can then go through and click the remove sharing links. And that will take place immediately. As you can see, it's just left by, behind the two different sharing links there. So that's all taking place with inside the site. What we're going to do now is just bring up the main deliver point page. And this will still default to the current site, but gives us more actions and more reports. And one of those reports is the advanced version of the Discover Permissions. And this is a great way of pre-filtering your Discover Permissions report with certain criteria, such as a particular permission level, a particular user, or even how they were permissioned, whether it's via a security group or something along those lines. You'll also notice that we've got different settings that we can set. So 
In here I'm going to choose all of the unique items, lists and sites and also the sharing links that have been shared. So when I hit generate, I'm not just looking at this site, but also any sites such as subsites that may have had broken permission inheritance. So we can see all the site permissions, but as we scroll down, notice we also see list permissions and item permissions purely for those items that have broken permission inheritance. Another way of seeing that information is from the main deliver point page is actually starting off with just the objects that have broken permission inheritance. And again, we can include items and lists and subsites with inside that. This will actually generate the report of just those things with broken permission inheritance. And from there, we can go through and dive in deeper to actually see who's got permissions to this content. So if I was interested in this financial 2021 folder, we can go through and select that. And from the reports menu, simply go through and discover those permissions. And you'll find that all of these reports can all be exported out to Excel uh, if you want to take a snapshot of that information. So making our scope a little bit wider, what we can also do is show the tree view. And this allows me to go through and navigate different sites and subsites. And what we're gonna do here is just bring up another example of this permissions demo site collection. And in here, you'll see that there's two subsites as well as some lists and libraries. And you'll be able to pick out those that have unique permissions. So any site or any list or library that is in full color has unique permissions. So we can tell, for example, that subsite two is inheriting permissions, whereas subsite one has unique permissions. And from here, we can go through and select those sites and report on all three at the same time. And we can even do that across different site collections. Or what's even more useful is to actually go through and compare the permissions. And that will tell me explicitly what the differences are in permissions across those three selected sites. And again, we could do that at list or library level if we wanted to. There's other views as well. So we can actually show a classic site collection view, which will allow me to see all of the classic site collections, of course, and drill into those. We also have a hub site view. So in here, we've got the Lightning Tools demo hub, as well as two associated sites. Now, if you've created modern sites and associated sites with hub sites, you'll know that each of these sites is its own site collection and therefore has its own access control list. And if we want to go through and grant somebody permissions, that would mean visiting each site independently. But with DeliverPoint, you can go through and select those three sites. And from the actions menu, choose one of the actions such as grant permissions, and it will apply that to each of the different access control lists in one go. We also have a Teams view. And from there, we could also see all of our teams, including those with uh, private channels. So in here, we can see that there's this particular team here and there's also a private channel. So if I wanted to report on both of those, we can select them and, uh, and see that information as well. So notice that we've got uh, information on the team itself as well as the, the private channel and who has access to that. Finally, there's an accounts view and the accounts view allows me to go through and focus in on a particular user. So in this case, I'm going to do a search on Sandy and we could go through and see all the unique permissions assigned to Sandy with inside of SharePoint, but we can also check Sandy's sharing links with inside her OneDrive or even the direct permissions that she shared from her OneDrive as well. And each of these can now be removed by selecting them and choosing the remove sharing links. And this is something that is available to each user for their own OneDrives or the tenant admin across other users OneDrives as well. So this is the type of functionality that you have in DeliverPoint. What we also have is the ability to add DeliverPoint to teams. And this can be added into a specific team, allowing you to report on that particular team. Or we can also go through and access DeliverPoint as a personal app, and that allows us to centrally manage the permissions across multiple teams within inside the Teams environment. So hopefully this has given you a bit of background as to what DeliverPoint is. Um, of course, if you want to go into more detail, then you can arrange a demonstration from the DeliverPoint page on the Lightning Tools website, and uh, I'd be happy to go through with your needs and any specific requirements that you have for your organization. Okay, many thanks.